absolutely in control. No slowing down for Reddick. He's got 10 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. From the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. Ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Andre Robertson out there with Russell Westbrook, and it's Adams in at the five spot. Oh, he should have made that one. He had plenty of cushion between himself and the defender. Here's Durant on the mark with the 15-footer. Durant's got the first field goal, the second half for the Thunder. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin. Well, Coach Doc Rivers certainly has a mince word since joining the Clippers. He's held each player accountable and defined roles. He told DeAndre Jordan he wouldn't run any plays for him, that he just wanted him to focus on defense. Jordan said, Doc knows how to reach people. There are egos on every team, and he knows how to control all of that. It's honesty. Refreshing, gentlemen. Champion with the Celtics. He's one of the best coaches in the league. Thanks, Doris. Well, supposedly, Kevin Durant, a.k.a. KD, enjoys playing NBA 2K prior to every game as a way to loosen up and kind of as an informal scouting report for the other team. That guy just soaks up all the basketball he can get. Keep listening, KD, and keep playing. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. And now we'll look at the point guards who have been taking matters into their own hands this past month. These are the top scorers at their position. Number one, Chris Paul. And being at the top of that list, he's obviously been able to take it upon himself to give them an offensive jolt whenever they've needed one. And to me, Steve, that's a tremendous asset, almost a necessary requirement for your point guard. I mean, you want a guy that can orchestrate and be a maestro for his teammates first and foremost, but it's a huge bonus when he can put it in the basket himself. Al Paul, after Westbrook's mystery, in the corner, it's Crawford. Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. And while we have a moment, let's check out the breakdown for DeAndre Jordan. What a year he had last season. Put up 10 points a game. 13 rebounds and almost two and a half blocks. There aren't many players out there with his ability to protect the rim. I'll tell you, his shot blocking stats have been amazing. And you know, those blocks, Steve, don't even take into account how many shots he's changed or bothered. The misses he's forced even when he doesn't get his hand on the ball. Their second half has started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. All against Westbrook. There's the feed to Griffin. Crawford, no one around him. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his ninth assist in the game now. Well, how about the response? Retaliation. Impressive, huh, guys? I'll say exactly that as well. Nice job to pick up those three points right away. Here's Crawford, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. They get Russell Westbrook. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, just call him buckets. He can flat out put the ball in the basket. You got to give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. And the Thunder making a switch here. Augustine's checked in. Durant with a wide open look. And the Thunder, another three. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. LA's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Griffin kicks to Paul. Jordan with a screen on Westbrook. Nobody near Barnes. Connects from three-point range. Barnes has got eight points. And as you said with Jamal, a lot of players can't really make that change between being a starter or a sub. But he does it so smoothly in such short time. It really adds a lot of utility to this team. Augustine from outside. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. Crawford right side takes the three. Kevin Durant with the rebound. Durant's got four rebounds in this game. Well, Crawford described it perfectly, Clark, when he said as a 6-2, you have to come in and force yourself into the game. As a starter, the pressure isn't there as much as you can go with the flow. Yeah, players like him can often do one or the other. Come in firing off the bench or 
let the game come to you, but rarely can they assess what the team needs like Crawford does and adjust on the fly. So Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck and neck game. Sure has been. I mean, guys, momentum is hard to come by in this one. I mean, it seems like one team gets the lead and then the other one storms right back. Yeah, that is evidenced by the eight lead changes we've seen so far. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Spencer Hawes has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Davis comes in for Blake Griffin. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Jamal Crawford. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Clippers. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they force quite a few turnovers as a result. And the other thing they're doing is they're forcing turnovers and then converting those miscues into points at the other end. Clippers leading by three. Up the floor. It's good from Barnes on the assist from Redick. 13 points for Barnes. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. Good. Man, he has been their unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. Here's Paul. 105 left in the third quarter. Out to the right wing. Now Reddick. Back to Paul. Clanketed by the Dean. Fights to the rim for the layup. Paul's got his third basket of the night. Really aggressive play, taking it to the rim against the big man. Tell you what, I love that fearless attitude. And it's Westbrook again missing. Reddick with the bucket. Reddick's got the lead up to seven now for Los Angeles. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now you got to make a defensive adjustment here, Clark. Time to collapse inside, force the ball back out to the perimeter, make them beat you from long range. Nice kick out after the defense had collapsed on him. Clippers leading by four. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Paul dishes to Davis. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And now we can see them really working it inside. Taking advantage of the defense, really pounding it down low. Outside for Durant. Off target from outside. Here's Paul. Three-pointer. Shot is off. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one.